Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you HTML page structure and what is the HTML and tags and some other things like attributes. So first of all I am going to save this file, save as and here I am going to write one dot html and here save this file and now first of all I am going to show you what is the HTML and here I have already opened the CNN website and here you see that there are many pictures on this website and the text so all these pictures all this data audio files and the video files are inserted into this page using HTML or in other words the HTML is used to link the data into our web pages and now I'm gonna tell you about another thing that is the tag. Tag is the main entity in the HTML. So what is the tag? Here any element in the HTML have the tags and it have the opening tag and the closing tag. And now how to write the tag? Here I'm gonna show you an example. First of all place the angle brackets and in between these angle brackets you have to write the name of the tag here I have write the tag name just for the example and then we have to write another angle brackets and then forward slash and after the forward slash we have to write the tag name again this is the closing tag and this is the opening tag almost all the elements in HTML have the tags so what is the purpose of using the tags in HTML? If you want to insert a picture in a web page like this, so you have to use the image tag. And if you want to uh, insert the text, you have to use the paragraph tag and many other tags. And you, if you want to insert a video in a web page, you have to use the video tag. If you want to insert an audio file, you have to use the audio tag even if you do a single thing in a HTML so you have to use the tag for that thing let's start now I'm going to tell you the HTML page structure so what is the HTML page structure all the websites have the HTML pages and HTML pages has the specific structure that defines the HTML pages so now here I'm gonna write the HTML page structure and here here I'm gonna write the HTML page structure according to the HTML5 here first of all I'm gonna write the exclamation mark the angle brackets and then we have to write doc type HTML so now question is why we are writing this line this when we render our file in the browser then this line tells the browser that this document is using the HTML5 this doc type represents the document type and document type is the HTML it represents the document is of type HTML5 and then we have to write another tag so now here I want to tell you uh, this tag does not have the closing tag there are few tags in the HTML that have not the closing tag now we have to write the HTML tags we will write all the HTML code in between these HTML tags first of all write the opening tag that is HTML <coughs> then the closing tag here is HTML so now in between these tags we will write all the HTML and now first of all we need to write the head tag here is the head its starting tag and then we have to write the head closing tag so now why we write this head tag the head tag is used to link the pages to the other pages and it is also used to give the title of the page it is also used to describe the content of the page and the author of the page and now 
here in between this I am going to write the title tag. Here I am going to write title and here is its closing tag and in between these tags we need to write the title here I am going to write the Fahad Ashfaq and now let's render this file in the browser here is the file here I have rendered this file and now here you see that this is the title of this file this HTML file now I'm gonna tell you about another thing that is the meta tag so this meta tag is used to give the information about the page and here we are able to specify the content of the page and the author of the page and another thing that is the char set here I'm gonna write the char set and here I'm gonna write and the author of the page and the content of the page these are the attributes of the meta tag and these are excluded from the HTML5 HTML5 in the HTML5 uh, this is not necessary to specify the author and the content of the page but if we specify the author and the content it is just okay and now here I am gonna tell you about another tag that is the body this is the head tag this is the head tag and it just it just contains the general information about the page but there is another tag that is the body tag the body tag contain all the information about the page this is the body of the page this is all this is the body of the page and here I'm going to write the body tag in between these tags we have to specify all the information that is in the body here is the body and this can it contain all the information of the page here another thing that is the attributes all the HTML elements have the attributes uh, attributes are just the properties of the element this body is the this body is an element this head is an element this title is an element meta is an element and all these elements have the attributes that are the properties and attributes are just the way of providing additional information about the element and now how to write the attribute here I'm gonna write a attribute of the meta tag first of all we need to write the name of the attribute and then equal and then double quotes and then we need to write the value of the attribute in between the double quotes and here I'm gonna write a real attribute that is the char set here we need to write the char set char set representing the character set what character set now this attribute tell the browser what character set this page is using here I'm gonna write the name of the character set that is UTF-8 it tells the browser this page is using the UTF-8 character set basically character set include the symbols and the letters and all the special characters and all the things and here I'm going to write another attribute that, that is the lang attribute lang attribute is used to specify the language of the page here I'm going to write English US EN represent the English and US represent the US English so it tell the browser this page is using the US English this is the character of an HTML page. So I hope you enjoy my lecture. If you have any problems so kindly at the discussion on Udemy, I will help you as much as I can. Thank you for watching this video. In my next video, I am going to discuss a paragraph, how to add a paragraph, headings and the comments and how to format the text. See you in the next video.